All right, we're going to work with pastels today. There are two things that I want you to know about pastels. One is that there are three ways that you can use the pastel to get three different size lines. You can use the corner of it to get a very thin line, the end of it to get a medium line, the side of it to get a thick line. The colors have a value of their own. So white is obviously the lightest. Yellow is a little bit darker. Uh, some of the colors are very similar, like this color and the yellow are very close in value. As is that color. Then they start to get a little bit darker. And uh, some of the colors you're just going to have to argue with yourself about which one's lighter and which one's darker uh, in value. Some of you might argue that this green is very similar in value to maybe these oranges. Now, as I've told y'all before, I'm colorblind, so don't let me decide for you which ones are darker and which ones are lighter. You look at your own chalk pastels and you make your own decisions. And I've got a black one here. And that black is darker than the black paper that I just drew on. So again, the two things that I wanted you to know before we get started is you can make three different size lines skinny line, medium line, fat line, and that your colors have different values. Now you're going to see in a moment how I use the various values of the color to create a very colorful padlock that also uh, has form and dimension because of the values that I chose. All right, well, I'm jumping right into uh, drawing this padlock. I didn't use any pencil to lay it out or anything like that. I'm solely relying on my ability to draw uh, and just completely skipping the pencil part. But I'm also um, not using any colors that are actually um, there present in the padlock. I have making up my own colors or deciding on which colors to use, that I want to use, you know, to make it a spectacular drawing. You'll notice that I used um, a lighter color on the side that the padlock is the lightest where the light's hitting it and a darker color on the shadow side. And then I'm using, I used the black paper in the first one to be the shadow. Now I tried a similar thing on this one and uh, uh, it didn't really work quite as well. Um, uh, maybe a bad choice of colors or uh, just awkwardness I'm not sure what but this particular picture I, I just don't feel like was quite as successful you will notice though I think that the white um, for the table actually makes the shadow uh, the green for the shadow a pretty good um, gives it a pretty good appearance um, the the white around the shadow really makes the shadow stand out uh, but I don't think it was a very strong drawing overall. Another thing that I noticed uh, with this and that you should know is that uh, because the pastels are obviously quite a bit thicker than a pencil or a pen or pen and ink, uh, you're going to really want to work larger than normal. You can't work small like you normally do in a sketchbook or on a piece of copy paper. So after doing a couple of drawings, I quickly transitioned to a much larger sheet of paper. This piece of paper is probably about 18 by 24 inches. Um, I used a white uh, pastel to lay out the shape of the padlock and to start with. And then I quickly uh, jumped into adding darks and lights. Um, after adding a few uh, darks and lights, uh, I decided I wanted to get a little bit braver about the color. I wanted the color to be really powerful on this one. And so 
I tried not to hesitate to use uh, any colors. Um, I mean, in other words, there were no colors that I was afraid to use, I guess. And I didn't use all the colors that I had, but but I uh, just paid real close attention to highlights and lighter areas. And as I said at the beginning of the video, I used the lighter colors um, for the lighter sides and the darker colors for the darker sides and so on. Um, I also noticed that there were different variations. Uh, because it was metal and corroded, there were different um, uh, values on every side of the lock. Uh, there were some dark spots on the where the light was, and there were some light areas where the dark was, where the shadow is. And so um, I really kind of started mixing it up more and more uh, as I went. You can see kind of like the different spots that I'm representing with the yellows and, and so on. So uh, this really kind of helped it, I think, to give it more characteristic. So I also enlisted the help of a friend who was better at seeing colors than I was, and I told him what my ideas were, and this is the end result. So uh, this is going to look really good added to our collage um, that we're going to work on uh, later on. Uh, we're going to do another day's worth of uh, drawing before we start working on the collage. Um, but here it was, uh, the last part. Not the last part, I'm sorry, another part. And um, now it's your turn. Go make some art.